Hello fellow reef enthusiasts, welcome back to Craft Aquatic, I'm Matt G. Today I'll be taking you on a tour of one of my favorite local fish stores in New Jersey. The store is one my wife and I and now six year old son have been frequenting for years. It has a little bit of everything along with some very well done display tanks and always gives us that warm comfort food local fish store vibe when we visit. The footage was captured a while back so you'll notice some differences but with that said let's head in and see what Absolutely Fish has to offer. The first thing you'll notice even before you enter the store is the beautiful art on the exterior walls and the emphasis on community participation, especially noticeable in these inspiring reef themed drawings and paintings. The art accolades, published articles and service offerings inspire confidence that this is a shop that will do its best to steer you in the right direction. If you watch my channel often, you'll know that I'm a huge supporter of local fish stores that inspire new hobbyists to learn more about reef ecology and eventually set up a system of their own. Absolutely Fish is not only immediately appealing to the eyes, but like an onion, it has many layers. The first of which is all of the standard equipment you'll need to set up a fresh or saltwater aquarium or even a koi pond. And all of this is available in great quantity and options at the very front of the store. So if you are here to simply grab some fish food or supplemental products, you can be in and out quickly. Though I'm pretty sure most people will choose to stick around for a bit. The indoor koi pond is one of the many visually inspiring systems to explore here, especially for the younger hobbyists. And tucked into every nook and cranny, there seems to be some sort of aquatic creature. Here we have some bread and butter plastic aquatic plants, just to get you started in the freshwater area. And then a ton of products on the wall, everything from salt to carbon to supplements, and even these smaller aquariums for setting up nano systems. Right up to the bigger tanks, this is probably the more the medium sized aquarium you'd use for a freshwater or saltwater system. Here I see at least three brands of heaters. This is something that goes wrong often in an aquarium. It's nice to have access to. Here's some wet dry trickle systems, which I haven't seen in a while, but it's cool to, to have the option to purchase one if you want it. This is sort of the high end area back, tucked in the back of the store with all the protein skimmers, the T5 bulbs, the plumbing parts, and here what looks like a more standard under the tank type sump with some media reactor options built in some more protein skimmers up top and return pumps, overflows. And here we have the soft fringing reef display. I think it's really great how they have defined the type of reef aquarium we have here. If you are new to the hobby or just looking for some inspiration, you can come to a local fish store like this and study their systems from the equipment right to the aquascape choices they have made. These in-store displays really serve to inspire the awe and imagination of especially potential future Aquarists. I'll be circling back toward the end of the video to give you much greater detail on the livestock inside this stony reef. Moving on to the coral holding tanks at Absolutely Fish, there are a large variety of colonies, frags, invertebrates, anemones in every category from leathers and filter feeders to LPS and SPS. The coral placed in holding under low par with plenty of space between, especially the mid to large size colonies. Now up toward the front of the coral holding tank section, there is a third display tank. Um, this is a small reef. I'm not exactly sure about the volume of this tank, but it's mostly leather coral. And on the bottom here, you can see they have some long tentacle and short tentacle plate coral. But look at the size of that leather colony right in the middle. These, some Nephthia right here, these are looking really nice. And I believe many of those are also for sale. Moving into this beautiful stony holding tank, some favia, trachophilia, acan lords, looks like some lovo back left, duncanopsomia, a hammer coral, beautiful euphelia in the middle there, some more duncans, and moving down to the left here you see this puffed up 
awesome giant trachophilia, fungia, a couple more tracks, and these master scolies, this black eye bower banky, it's huge, along with that beautiful blasto right in the back there. Moving right next door to the second stony holding tank, maybe not as colorful, but still jam-packed with coral. We have tons of favia in here, plenty of euphilia, hammers, and torch coral. Right here in the middle, this torch looks like it probably would have been an Indo uh, torch, and it's not for sale, but this uh, video, most of the footage was taken during the Indo band, so that would make sense. Getting into some of the SPS and LPS frags that Absolutely Fish has available, you can see that they have some pretty cool deals here. It's $7.99 for any coral on this rack. And here we have the $9.99 rack, and it goes up and up. These guys actually have a grow-out facility not too far from here, and they're able to grow these not too rare but still beautiful frags on plugs taken from mother colonies in their grow-out facility and provide them to new hobbyists and established hobbyists looking to fill in gaps in their existing reef. It's easy to look at something like frags being available at a local fish stop and, and take that for granted these days. But it used to be that you could only buy very expensive full-grown colonies at a fish store. And that really had to do largely with paying for a shop's overhead and all the other expenses that they have to manage. But shops have really come around in recent years making these frags available to hobbyists so that they can grow their own colonies out from little pieces of coral. Here we get into the higher end frags. This is the tank on the end, and these are a lot of the name coral or things that are gonna grow out into bigger, more beautiful, more colorful colonies in the end. And here we inch up a little bit in the value scale of these corals, some zoanthids, bower banky, mushrooms, or cordia, things that are a little more expensive, but nothing that's gonna break the bank. Of course, no local fish store called Absolutely Fish would be complete without their own fish-only saltwater tank. Now, before moving on to these rows and rows of saltwater fish, I'm going to show you this little row of nano freshwater tanks. Really beautiful stuff. And here we have even like a wall of beta. So we have something for everybody. I'll show you that again. <laughs> that was a jump cut. And here we go. We're just going to jump right into the saltwater section with some nice damsels. Beautiful little display of damsels to get you started. And these funny little rabbit fish. I thought that was great. They're like fighting for that piece of seaweed. I love rabbit fish. I think they have a ton of personality. Personality. Again, rows and rows of options for fish here. I mean, this store is the one that I used to come to when I was looking for a particular fish. You can buy online. You can look online to see if other hobbyists have fish available they don't need anymore, but it's really nice to come to a local fish shop and hand pick your fish. The freshwater section is pretty gigantic here. They have a ton of hardscape and gravel available anything you'd need really to start a tank in abundance and this little nano fish freshwater section I do have a small freshwater tank at home even though I'm primarily saltwater I do like these little planted tanks they are just tiny little worlds that are fascinating much easier to care for than a full-blown saltwater tank and they just in some ways a little more relaxing to look at when you're having an issue with your reef tanks so plants fish any kind of fish you need available here and this is their giant display freshwater display tank right on the other side of their main display tank the stony tank and then here again i just wanted to show you these nanos because they are actually pretty nice and all available for sale panning down from this beautiful blue tiled archway we see the two saltwater display tanks back to back and we'll start in on this beautiful fringing reef. We have some GSP down here with a nice little jawfish who's made a cave inside for his home. Naphthia, zoanthids, palethoa, a lot of flowy naphthia. This stuff is beautiful in here. And then down at the bottom we have this nice little cluster of palethoa and underneath you can see there are some rock anemones. 
and here smartly placed on this little rock island, a bunch of Xenia. This has the effect of a long tentacle plate coral sitting on some green button polyps, but it is in fact a torch. And up top, a long tentacle leather coral and those purple rhodactus mushrooms. A yellow leather coral and back to that deep green nephthia. Lots of amazing fish in here. I could go on and on about the fish in here actually, but this purple sponge is something that captured my attention. I thought it was pretty neat. And of course, this cluster of pallies at the bottom here. Here we are back at the stony display. Let's take a closer look. These giant hammer colonies on the bottom of the tank are pretty impressive. I like the one on top. It has the green tentacles and the purple tips. It's interesting to observe a mind trick colony grown out like this, especially how the polyps tend to bunch up toward the center. Nice red lobo there. And here we have a very stunning, especially in person, mint green ganopora. I very much appreciate the types and variety of fish chosen for this display. No one fish is particularly large, and they all move around each other and in and out of the rock structure in a very natural way. I had the pleasure of speaking with Eric, who designed and maintains this impressive stony mixed reef. It sounds like it was quite a challenge to get it to where it is today. All the more reason to appreciate the effort that is required to produce such a wonderful in-store display. And most of us SPS keepers will recognize this Milka Stylo and Bally Green Slimer right away. There's a Favia to the left, a Capricornus Colony to the right. Down here we have a Frog Spawn and a Chunky Tentacle Torch, both having a really nice time in the current. Two giant clams with scolies tucked right in there to the bottom right. A War Coral to the left and that beautiful green pink tip torch to the right there. Two Ganapora species here. We got a red and a green. And moving up, we have another Duncan, one of my favorite flowy coral, and this very unique pastel cat eye design bubble coral. The mind trick and the elegance look really nice next to each other. And all these Montipora species are just growing into each other very nicely as well. I do like seeing encrusting Montipora growing up on the overflow, especially when it starts to plate out like this. And here we have one of my favorite Acroporas, a fox flame getting ready to branch out. And one more look at the entirety of this beautifully well-balanced, healthy, stony reef aquarium. All the coral and fish are just getting along wonderfully. So that about wraps it up for this store tour. I want to thank all of the staff at Absolutely Fish who put up with me filming, and especially Patrick, the owner, who took some time to come over and say hi. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to Craft Aquatic. And remember, nothing good happens fast in reef keeping.